this is Matt for Into a Boxing Diet for the first time in person to be joined by Archie Sharp. Archie, look, um, from the bits I saw, because I've been running in about interviewing, looked to be a clinical boxing performance. How did you feel it went in there? Yeah, I felt good tonight, very, very good. It's only, um, it's only my third fight with my new team in over two years. So, uh, yeah, learning, and every fight's just got better and better. The first fight, I come out of all cuts and marks. With, with my new team, because just the old Archie Sharp, just getting a bit reckless sometimes, a bit complacent. Then the second fight, just sticking to the boxing, and then today, yeah, I think punch perfect performance. How have you found adapting to the new gym? The good set of lads and people in that gym, a lot of talent in that gym, one of the best gyms you'll find in this country. How are you finding working with that with, with them guys? Yeah, unbelievable. I'm just so grateful to be part of the team. Um, sorry, excuse me. Yes, yeah, grateful to be part of the team. And uh, to be honest with you, it's just about it's the momentum. That's the only thing that weren't on my side in the last couple of years was the momentum. Every time I got out, it was eight months, got out, eight month break, do you know what I mean? But now, body feels good, touch wood, uh, everything's all good and we just keep the ball rolling. Did you feel that tonight was just getting a bit of ring rust off as well? Because you've, you've been out the ring a fair bit, haven't you, before, the, before eight this? Months. Eight months, just come back from a bad injury. Uh, so yeah, it was good getting there, body felt brand new. Felt I'm, I felt unreal. Clinical performance, stuck to my boxing, the old Archie Sharp's back and I feel good, defeat work was second to none. 22 and 0, yeah, ready yeah. to go, ready to take on the best in the world. A lot of names getting flown around. I think we know the obvious one that it keeps getting banded about, but Oscar Valdez has been name that's been mentioned. Obviously, lost to Shakur Stevenson, but still highly ranked and a, and a world level fighter. Do you feel now you're ready to go in with the likes of these guys and show, look, I'm here? Yeah, definitely. These sort of fights I'm having now are just me just getting in there, just doing what I need to do. Like the best archer shot is when I have a best opponents. Like the livelier opponents, the best archer shot you'll see. I've been saying that, screaming that from day one. It was the same thing as me and the amateurs when I box elite level fighters. You see the best of me, um, and yeah, I believe Oscar Valdez is what I want next. We tend to see that in fighters, and um, people have said about Tyson Fury when he fights someone who he's expected to win. Sometimes it's below par, sometimes it's a little bit off. Then when he gets thrown in the deep end, where like even the first while of the fight, and it's like we don't know, he performs. Do you think that's what it'll be for you? Where you'll just perform to the level you're operating at? Yeah, exactly that. Because them sort of fighters like Oscar Valdez, Shakur Stevenson, Joe Cordinas, you've got to be switched on it all the time. These are more dangerous fights in, in one sense because it's so easy to get complacent and just yeah. switch off. And that's where I went wrong in the past. Is I just get in there, oh, Archie Sharp's winning, just coast it, coast it. And then all of a sudden a clash of heads and get and that's why tonight was so important to stay disciplined. There was times in there I just I had to stay switched on from the first round to the tenth round. And when you're fighting big names, I'll be like that all the time. Um, but these fights here, they can be banana skin. So yeah. we've seen it in the past with fighters. And uh, these these can, like I say, they can be more dangerous because it's, it's it's a big risk really for a little reward. And I took the fight um, and yeah, I won. Absolutely, but when you're in with these top-level fights, especially someone like Oscar Valdez who can bang and we've seen them show real knockouts, you've just mentioned there how switched on you'll need to be. What do you think will happen if you two shared the ring? Do you think you'll be able to take him into them deep waters where you may be at school and him and moving him around the ring and sort of having your way? Is that how you see that fight going? Yeah, if you stay toe-to-toe -to -toe with Oscar Valdez, then yeah, you make it a closer fight. Or I can get in there and out boxing, but to be honest with you, I'm just... Getting bigger and bigger at the weight, it feels strong at the weight. So if we want to sit in the centre, we can sit in the centre with Oscar out there. It doesn't matter. Whatever game plan they want to bring, um, we'll, we'll match them and beat them. You mentioned big at the weight. Any chance of you ever moving up? Yeah, definitely. Cut them more fights. Do what I've got to do. Clean up the 130 and straight to 135. Big names up and down these divisions. If you could pinpoint now, you mentioned Shakur before, and I've seen you, you, you don't want to do this to death, but who are the fights you want? If you say, you go, look, we'll make a fight tomorrow, you decide who it is, where it is, who is it? Pitcher Cross Stevenson, but I just I know that it's just sometimes a waste of breath to keep chucking his name out because he's just it ain't gonna happen. So Oscar Valdez, if it has to be, what I'll do is I will wipe the floor, Oscar Valdez, show everyone that the real Archie Sharp, and everyone will be like, oh shit, this kid's real. Look, it's gonna be an interesting ride, Archie Sharp. Look, thanks for giving me some of your time to into okay. boxing, and we'll catch up again. I think I just want to thank all the yeah, supporters, but thank all the supporters, all the team, and thank you to the haters even more because you just give me the best drive. So God bless. Appreciate it.